Hello, hello, welcome to my video entitled Goth at Heart. This video is all about wearing black makeup and looking totally rock and roll or goth rock and roll or glam, glam goth? I'll call it glam goth, I guess. I know I don't look it, but um, I've always been really into like the macabre and dark, morbid things. I have this kind of, this tiny obsession with like, you know, death and the afterlife. I kind of wrote a novel about it, but let's talk about the makeup here. So I'm getting in touch with my inner goth, which I have not let out in a long time. It's just kind of suppressed it for a while because, you know, I was stupid and decided to listen to what people, listen to people when they said, when they told me how I should look and who I should be, but no more. Today we're going to liberate ourselves. And um, as you can see, we're, I am doing a uh, smoky eye and black lip. Now, so I'm using two two different eye products I did uh, for my um, transition color I used um, a color from my Morphe 350 palette and then I went and used the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in Frisky and I just used my my finger to apply that I really layered it onto my eyelid because I wanted to get the most color payoff black as black and so I was gonna I can't remember what I was going to do with this, but um, I decided to do a little, a, a small wing using a coal liner. So here I am. I am, um, I am just filling in my lashes because we don't want any gaps between the eyeshadow and the lashes. That just looks awkward. We want this to be nice and black. Black. Black, black. <laughs> um, that's like my favorite color, truthfully. So, um, as you can see, I created a wing and I'm taking a very slender brush and I, I di di dibbed, dabbed, I dabbed that um, into the eyeshadow and I am just setting that wing liner with um, it's my baby little wing liner it's like a baby cat li cat, cat liner kitten flick yeah it's a kitten flick I think uh, Lisa Eldridge does that a lot she, that's what she calls it the small wing liner is called a kitten flick um, but I uh, okay so with my wing liner I don't like to take it all the way um, around my eye I just like to do it about part way to the lower lash line and blend it out into the lashes because it makes my eyes look more open and bigger if I just if I line my waterline with as you can see right now I'm using a nude um, eye coal and this will make my eyes pop if I use a black one it'll make my eyes look small and beady and I don't like that so although I'm doing a smoky eye I um, I want my eyes to also look very large and open so um, this is the most fl flattering way to do a smoky eye for me so uh now I'm, I've got my favorite highlight currently. This is the one from Medusa's Cosmetics called um, Moonlight. And I just really put a ton of that on the inner corner. And of course, naturally, as you can see, I'm really kicking on the mascara. Um, I don't typically do falsies. If you want to put on some falsies, you know, go for it. That's your thing. Do it. Um, I just find that they're usually always really uncomfortable with my eyes. But there is no doubt they are beautiful. So... Now I'm going to go towards the lips and I did prep them using that OCC uh, lip primer and I had that on while I was doing the eye makeup and uh, now I'm taking a cotton bud and I'm just um, wiping off most of that uh, product and I'm also getting uh, rid of the dead skins that's on your, my lips and stuff. So for this uh, particular lip uh, product that I'm using, I'm using the uh, Obsessive Compulsives Cosmetics Lip Tar in Tard. And these lip tars, they do tend to feather. And as beautiful as they are, that I find them really frustrating because that when products feather, I just get super irritated. So as you can see, I'm being very careful about prepping. So I put concealer over my lips, and now I'm taking the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Liner in Tarde, and I am out. I am filling in my lips and uh, outlining them as well. So as you can see, as always, I overdrew on the Cupid's bow, and I'm f doing my lower lip right now. For some reason, this is a lot harder with black because it's more obvious when you mess up. So next I'm taking that lip tar and I'm just putting a bit on the back of the hand and I'm taking a brush and I'm just going to go to town. And I take uh, my time with this because I'm using this brush to really massage this product into my lip and blend it out really well because um, the more you massage this into your lip, the more you work it into your lip, the better it adheres to your, to your skin. I was going to say flesh, but <laughs> that sounds a bit too, um, I don't know carnal <laughs> um, and the less likely it will to feather so um, I'm really digging this I actually 
just fucking love this look. I'll probably wear a black lipstick more often. I also realized as I was doing this foundation look that I wanted to film it as a tutorial because it's um it's a fair skin look. I mean like but it's also quite bronzy. I mean if you look at my skin, you've got different skin tones and undertones and stuff and my neck is like paper white. It's ghostly. Um, but as you can see on my shoulders, I have um, some gold hues, and so I have to use my bronzer to really um, warm up the skin and put some sun back into the skin, or I just look super pasty and ghostly. But yeah, I, I, I love this look. It's fabulous. It, um, and there it is. It's finished. Yeah, Rocker Glam. You like my hair? I just got it cut. Um, I decided to go for a new look. I'm gonna mess it all up for the look that I'm going for. But I actually really like this. It's super cool, super edgy. I got myself a soccer mom bob. Should I title this video Goth Soccer Mom or what? <laughs> So, um, this is cool. Maybe I'll go out and do some grocery shopping. Scare some people. I live in, like, a super conservative town, so this look could be, like, eye-catching, for sure. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you learned something useful. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and keep an eye out for more videos. Go outside and enjoy the sunlight. It's a beautiful day. Maybe I'll go out and do some yoga. Yeah, go out and do yoga. Whatever. <laughs> Bye.